I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt from ready to wear. You don't have to take it apart. You can trace it directly onto fabric, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can use pattern paper. We're going to first choose the t-shirt that you need to make. Some tools, which includes marking chalk, tracing paper, tracing wheel, and anything else that it will take to cut it out and finish it up. I'm going to make a pattern from fabric of this t-shirt. The first thing you do is lay it down, make sure that the t-shirt is laid straight, there are no wrinkles. To make sure that it doesn't move, you're going to take straight pins and you're going to pin each section to a pinning board. That's so it will not shift while you are tracing out your pattern. Now that we got it pinned down, we're going to take tracing paper. Tracing paper has chalk on one side. So you want to take the paper, lay it down on and under the t-shirt and then we're going to use something called a tracing wheel. You just simply go outside of the t-shirt in all areas that needs to be traced. Now we're going to true up those lines that we just drew to make sure they are straight and you can see them before you cut it out. I'm using a chalk marker. Now a chalk marker will transfer, uses powder, and it will transfer all of the marks we just did in a straight line. Now you're going to take a ruler to see what your seam allowance is going to be. Typically, t-shirts have very narrow seam allowances. Half inch is good enough, or even a quarter inch, depending on whether you're going to use an overlock machine or a sewing machine. So, I can take my fashion ruler and draw a stitching line, a seam allowance rather. So, or if you're good at eyeballing it, you can only have to do any of that. So you just make sure that you got a good straight edge to do what you need to do to make this correct. You take this tool, this is a rotary cutter, but you need a mat to allow for this sharp edge to work. So where I have my seam allowance, I'm going to cut this right from this board. And you're done with the base part of the t-shirt. Now you have to do the sleeves. Okay. Now that we're ready to sew, I'm going to use a serger, or better known as an overlock machine, to sew this t-shirt up. You'd be amazed how quickly this will go. I'm going to sew the shoulders first, install the sleeve, install the band on the sleeve, and then do the side seams all in one motion, and then we'll complete the top. We're going to match up the top of the sleeve to the body of the t-shirt and then we're going to stitch it all in one motion. We're almost done. The next thing to do is to sew up, put the sleeve on the other side, sew it up and hem it and then you're ready to wear. The serger machine is the quickest way to make a t-shirt.